My name is Eli Semke. I'm a lead carpenter with Hammer in Hand. We're here at the Madrona Passive House project. Um, we've just completed installation of um, stabilization piles for the foundation of the project. The site is located on a steep slope falling off to the east. In the 20s when this area was built up, uh, the, the builders used a lot of fill to, to level the area around the house that was here previously. And what that results in is, is a pretty unstable surface on, on which to build. So the challenges of this site required some engineering solutions. What they came up with were um, installation of uh, 26 concrete piles that are augered into the hillside down into dense native soil. Um, we have two different types. On the east side of the project, near a, a steep slope that drops off to the east, um, we have uh, 24 inch piles. And as you can see, there's a large steel I-beam poured down the center of the piles. These are drilled, augered into the hillside 28 feet, which gets us down into the good, dense, native soil. To the west of the project, um, the the piles are used for bearing, and these are a smaller diameter. Um, there's 16 inches in diameter and, and have a, a rebar cage poured into them. So now that the pilings are complete, uh, we'll be installing a grade beam that will span the distance between the piles. Um, on top of that grade beam will be poured a six inch structural slab that then spans between the grade beams. On top of this will be uh, six and a half inches of rigid insulation to um, bring our R value up for this passive house. On top of the insulation we'll have two and a half inches of a topping slab that will then be polished for the finished floor of the basement.